Another day, another issue with firewalls. We have a researcher that's going to release exploit for full authentication bypass on Fortinet devices. This allows a remote attacker to bypass authentication. This is the CVE number. Fortinet have released a patch on August 12 of this year. But then we also have Cisco warning of max severity flaw in FMC or firewall management center. This is 10 out of 10. Cisco secure firewall management center software radius remote code execution vulnerability. An attacker could exploit this vulnerability by sending crafted input when entering credentials that will be authenticated by a radius server. You can become admin on the firewall by doing this. There are no workarounds. Cisco have released software updates for this. It affects a whole bunch of devices. 10 out of 10 on this. You can get around this, however, by disabling radius on your Cisco Secure FMC software. But this is not great. Firewalls are supposed to be there to protect you. But look at this issue. We have Fortinet problems. I recently spoke about other vendors and we have Cisco again. I've recently also covered another 10 out of 10 CVE on Cisco devices. Not good to see this. What are you doing in the real world to mitigate this? Are you just keeping your software up to date when this stuff comes out? Do you run multiple firewall vendors? So as an example, you might have a Cisco firewall and then another vendor's firewall. What are you doing to solve this problem? Occupy the Web and I previously created videos talking about Fortinet and how this kind of authentication can be bypassed. And there were comments like, this is an old CVE. Well, here's a brand new one. 2025-52970. Same kind of issue where the attacker can impersonate any active user, including an administrator. This issue impacts 40 web 7.0 to 7.6. It was fixed in these releases. So make sure that you patch your system. Version 8 releases aren't impacted by this issue, so no action needs to be taken there. There are also no workarounds. You have to upgrade the software. This has a score of 7.7. .7, and as a bleeping computer say here, that can be deceptive because in practice, it's a brute force attack that allows you to do this. So the researcher is going to release the details later, but wants to give people time to fix their systems. This is not good. We have Cisco, 10 out of 10, and we have a Fortinet vulnerability again, 7.7 .7 severity level. Not good to see this. Come on, firewall vendors, do better than this.